deluxe type hand operated milking machine. Uh, basically, let me explain on the can as a tank which is used to store the milk which is extracted from the cow. So, this is a stainless steel can which is uh, made up of a SS304 uh, foot graded stainless steel. And uh, we have a gasket with this. So, gasket it's uh, made up of again a silicon foot graded. Uh, basically, we have to insert the gasket inside the cap and uh, we have to place the cap on the can and uh, the holder, the holder has to be placed on top of the cap. So, this is an initial procedure. Then, this can is connected with a hose. This is a big hose. It's a, and we also have a small hose. The big hose is to transport the milk uh, from the cow through the cluster and again a small hose uh, basically to transport the air to build a vacuum into the can. Initially we have to build a pressure and I uh, will show you the, this is called as a whole uh, set is called as a cluster. Cluster is connected with the four teeth liners, I mean what you see here the black thing is called as a teeth liner and which is covered with the blue color teeth cups and again which is connected with the teeth wall this is called as individual teeth wall again that individual teeth wall is connected to the connector here and this connector is simultaneously connected to all the four teeth lines and four teeth cups which we can observe here and uh, for the visibility of milking, we have provided with the transparent cluster bowl. This portion is called as a transparent cluster bowl. And again, we have a main wall. So, initially, we have to close this main wall like this. If it is horizontal, it is open. Then we uh, make it perpendicular. So, this is closed. Then, we have to build a pressure. We have provided with the kind of a rod which has to be in a front and back uh, motion. So then we also provided the gauge, the pressure gauge. In this pressure gauge, uh, we have to maintain a pressure. I mean basically we have to build the pressure from 0 to 250 to 300. 250 being a minimum and 350 is being a maximum. So let us uh, build the pressure first. So by doing this uh, back and forth motion. So this usually takes around uh, 35 to 40 strokes to build up 250 to 300 PSI. So building a pressure now is very easy to operate. It does not need much of a, a strain. And it, since we have provided with the stainless steel uh, seater and which is very ergonomically designed and the placement of the rod is also equivalently uh, designed and placed it so that you won't have much of a strain while doing this and we also provided a space between the seater and the mission so that it is easy to come out and get in and uh, specially designed for the Indian ladies who are wearing the saris and langas so that they can be seated very comfortably. So uh, again, we come back to the building the pressure. You can observe the gauge. You can observe the gauge which is showing right now 250 and which is going towards 300. So it's already come to 300 with uh, less than uh, 35 strokes. Uh, then. As I told, this is being closed and uh, when while doing it, we also have to close this individual teeth walls. You can observe all the four teeth walls have been closed. I mean, it's perpendicular, means it is closed. You can observe all the individual teeth walls have been closed. Okay, and uh, to extract the milk from the cow, extract the milk from the cow, then basically we have to uh, insert into the cow teeth. For example, let me just show you an example of my uh, thumb. 
so which I have inserted here after inserting like like way the same way you have to insert into the cow teeth after inserting first thing you have to open this main wall you can see here after opening the main wall we have to open one of the individual teeth wall so same way all the four teeth liners and teeth cups it has to be inserted in the, all the four teeth once you insert you once you finish inserting into the complete udder then we have to again continue in the we have to continue doing the same kind of back and front motion so that you will be able to absorb the flow of the milk in the transparent cluster bowl and also once the completion also you will be able to observe once it stopped and before ending your complete milk process just give it a small jig 2-3 times so that remaining milk of 100 to 150 ml also can be extracted in the sense there is a complete milking the complete milking can happen with this kind of missions and complete milking will ensure the cow health so that health of the udder, health of the cows will be there and advantage of this mission is uh, we have milk without any contamination not by using hand there is a, uh, a complete hygienic milking and it also ensures uh, pure and hygienic milking and